Well, another dreary day on this Wednesday across central and eastern Kentucky. Area of low pressure to our east. Frontal boundary kind of draped over the area, and that kept some light rain and drizzle around. We'll see a brief break from the wet weather on Thursday, but the issue may be some stubborn cloud cover that lingers uh, in these types of setups. That has a tendency to happen. The models can be uh, a little bit aggressive as far as clearing things out uh, quickly. Next storm system, that's going to bring more rain chances into the upcoming weekend. It will be cooler on Sunday, but another nice warm-up on tap as we head into next week. Viper radar showing the steady rain across eastern Kentucky. And I mentioned the boundary. It's laid out just off to the east and southeast of Lexington and we've had a few breaks in the clouds at least within the last couple of hours and I think that's helped uh, fuel a few of these little isolated cells that have popped up. Obviously any of the patchy drizzle that we have so light it doesn't show up on radar but running down US uh, 27 there uh, down toward Camp Nelson south of uh, Nicholsville there along the Jesmond and Garrett County line. Steady rain, and you can kind of see everything squeezing together as the moisture comes around that area of low pressure, which is over South Carolina. It's pulled off of the Atlantic, and then it's bumping into the mountains, so that's going to keep things wet off to our east. Checking out live look at Mount Sterling, Montgomery County Courthouse 59. Winds have shifted to the north, of course, coming around that area of low pressure. That's slowly going to work some uh, chilly air in here, at least cooler uh, up uh, on the mountaintop there. A little dreary and some rain uh, there in Hindman, near Hindman in Knott County with the Kentucky Mesonet Cam 55 there. So temperatures now settling down uh, about an hour away from sunset into the upper 50s. Still got a, a 60 here and there right around where we expected to be. And of course, uh, even with the clouds and the rain around, temperatures above average for this time of the year. There's a low heading eastward. That boundary still overhead, and it will take a little while to kind of scour the moisture out of the area. Future cast, low clouds, some drizzle. Notice low to mid 40s tomorrow morning. And then hopefully as we get into the afternoon, in-house data hanging with some clouds, but a few breaks here and there, and we should still run around 60 for an afternoon high. So looking ahead here, break tomorrow, and then here comes that next system. One wave on Friday, scattered rain, and then the main player on Saturday, and that's going to mean additional rainfall. The two days, it does look like Saturday. We've got widespread rain chances as that low tracks right through, but after that, we're going to dry it out for a little while. So you see here, uh, into Friday, but especially waking up Saturday morning, probably some steady rain, moderate to potentially heavy at times. Looking at general rain, I think uh, a rumble of thunder or two can't be ruled out, but we're not looking at uh, anything significant drying out on Sunday. But caveat is going to be a little bit cooler as far as rainfall totals here. Could see some healthy totals uh, to the tune of an inch, inch and a half. So that's something we'll watch. Some minor flooding issues uh, could be on the table given how wet it has been of late. So we'll start out in the mid 40s tomorrow morning. Of course, low clouds some drizzle. And then tomorrow, hopefully we'll catch a little bit of sunshine into the afternoon. Highs right around 60. More sun could sneak into the low 60s when shifts southwesterly into Friday and Saturday, thus the low 60s once again. And don't forget about the time change. Spring forward one hour, 2 a.m. on Sunday morning as daylight saving time returns. And we are looking nice as we head into the mid part of next week. Afternoon highs back in the low and mid 60s.